My name is Elizabeth Pampalone, and you're listening to the Absolute Marketing Podcast. Today's tip is about how to offer your first payment plan or maybe your first successful payment plan. I know that in the past, I've done the same thing as everyone, I'm sure. You get yourself a client, they can't afford you, you think of a payment plan, you set it up, and then poof, they're gone, they've ghosted you. Well, there are a few tips that I have on creating a successful payment plan. The first one is to really know the client. You want to make sure that you feel comfortable enough with the client that if the road gets rough, that they're going to be able to trust you enough to come to you and say, hey, man, I'm having some trouble financially. Can we work this out? And you will be open enough and approachable enough that they can actually feel comfortable doing that. And also that you know enough about their situation and you trust that they are one of those people that's just going to, they're in it to win it. They're hard workers and they're going to make things work even if it gets tough. Now, I don't do this for all my clients. I only offer payment plans to a very few. But when I do offer the payment plans, I make sure that I really know them, that they feel comfortable with me and that they also know one very important fact. I am funding their business. For whatever length of time that is, whether I charge them an interest or an extra fee or not, I am funding their business. It's basically the Bank of Elizabeth open for business. So make sure that people understand that, that you are putting your money into their business and then eventually they'll pay you back, but you are basically loaning, giving them a loan to do what you're doing. Now that does some scare some people off and it should because not everyone is for you and that's fine. But at the same time, it should also give people that gravity of, okay, I'm taking money out of this person's pocket. They are loaning me this money. Most of the time, interest-free in some cases. I mean, I I don't usually charge extra for that. And they are putting their trust in me. And so it's also kind of a a peer pressure thing in a way, but really that integrity thing that if they want to have their integrity intact, they need to remember that they have to pay that money back. And I've had really great success with this. So I wanted to give you this advice and let you know that it doesn't really matter how you do the numbers or how far out the payments are or you know uh, if you want to do a payment up front and then payments down the line you know however you want to structure it is fine the numbers aren't really important but knowing that you know the person you feel comfortable with them you feel comfortable in their ability they are comfortable with their own ability and also that they know that you're funding their business so anyway i hope this has helped you and if you want more Check out getabsolutemarketing.com. Talk to you next time. Thanks for listening to the Absolute Marketing Podcast. If you'd like to learn more, please visit getabsolutemarketing.com.